Hello, my name is Carlo. Welcome to my world and for those of you who are new to my profession, I'm currently turning this piece of fabric into a curtains for the off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, kind of stealthy Mel's camper van. On the yard, on the right width, and now I'm cutting it to four small curtains. We'll pin the fleece line tape and then fix it under the machine. And now I will pin a flannel lining over these fabric and well and over this fabric. resembles the color of the fabric. Remove all the pins. There are quite a lot, I can say. And now for a nice straight toss, I take some steam. I steam iron. Place it here. And I can walk away. I can walk away. And it doesn't make any holes in the fabric. This is a lovely machine of Philips. No. It uh, doesn't stick. It just works with steam. No steam, no work. <laughs> Now, we come to my almost most beloved machine. It always works because it's, for me, it's the newest one. This is uh, a blind stitch machine. 
And this one comes from England. And I'll take you to this machine. It stitches, so to say, blind. And uh, this one, the needle is going in quite the opposite way of normal machines. And this machine, as I will show you, will do the trick by stitching the liner to the fabric. And it almost cannot be seen at the front side. And now we get the top side and the liner correctly placed. Ready for the next step. Must be for too long. Well, I don't want the liner to. Uh, this liner is kind of thick, and the reason that I want to finish it by locking it so that you don't get a double seam, which will make a very thick package, I'll simply just lock this with a white lock thread so it's neat from the back but not overly thick that is uh, what we don't want we don't want Mel to have a very thick curtain when it's open we want to have a very nice curtain to open up and it doesn't have to be a double uh, double seam for nice White. <laughs> All white.
And now to finish it off, I need to do the side seams. So I'm going to cut the extra tape off. Because we don't need it anymore. Then we fold this not once, but twice. And we will also pin this because something which is pinned down the line it stays straight while sewing it. To get from this to this. I'll show you in a few steps. First we take the measurement that my lovely wife has written me. Then we put it under the machine with a little hook to the side. And voila, that's the first one. And we leave it at that for the next step. are in there but it's missing something there's lacking something there is lacking a butterfly pleat and I'll show you one and then the rest will keep the secret of the trade just like the pleats little butterfly pleat for Mel. <laughs> 